It is booty club time. Twelve o'clock on the dot. I'm in my drop top, cruising the streets. That Chanel shit, I like that. Got your own ride, I like that. Got your mind right, I like that. In a fantasy world, I wipe that. Hey, go hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. How you doing? I'm doing good, thank you for asking. I'm feeling like a diva today. So I'm about to do a little photo shoot with the Glam Squad. You know, we're about to be creative because we feel like we have to start pushing out content. You know what I'm saying? Because we some talented mother So we're going to do a photo shoot today and I need to put on a wig. So you already know your girl got a little sponsor. What is you even talking about? We have a U wig sponsoring us today. Shout out to you wig. Hey, go hey. Now today we are actually doing a different type of wig because we are doing a kinky straight whoa so kinky straight i think is actually very beautiful because it resembles black hair perfectly the kinky straight like if i were to blow dry my hair it would look very similar to this it's very thick and it's super long i don't know if you guys can see this the wig came with combs on the inside but i'm gonna cut them out now i cut the combs out of the wig and they also gave an elastic band which is freaking awesome because I don't know how to do hair for crap, so this elastic band is going to secure the wig even more and it'll make it easier for me to pop it on my big ass head. Now, I would highly recommend that this wig be plucked, but I don't have tweezers and nobody going to see that, so it doesn't matter to me. But if I were you, I would pluck, but I'm not doing all of that. And I'm so happy that they have a part in it already because I don't know how to do all of that stuff. Woo, y'all. Because I actually may end up curling it later 
for the shoot today, so stay tuned for that. It's gonna be so cute. But here's the one around. And it's really thick. I actually really do love this hair. I can see it's being like a signature look for me for Miss B. Very diva vibes, very black queen vibes. Like what? Okay, but thank you so much, you wigs, for sponsoring this video. If you guys are interested in purchasing this hair, I'm gonna leave all the links down below. Now let's get on with the video. You guys ready to shoot? Yes. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's good. Represent. Represent. <laughs> done. <laughs> so, okay, it's done. Yeah, where are we going? That was the Yoshi. Before I get anywhere. Hey! Hey! Hi! Hey. 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 What's his eye hand for? That can't see. Hey, look. Let's see it sports these niggas. Put me that can't you afford me, nigga? Mm. Daddy! What? No, you got one daddy. Stop. Uh, <laughs> that could be mommy. You could be cousin. Oh, you want to be auntie? Cousin, cousin. Okay, okay. hey cousin. Hey cousin. It's safe cousin in the game. What's up? You're in the game. Hey cousin, what's up? Thanks, you got that favorite cousin. The one you always do the sleep over the bed. at night, we're about to start shooting right now. Finish my makeup and it looks so beautiful. My mama is back there. Hey. <laughs> to eat me some pizza for breakfast you guys already know i work day shift now your girl is a daytime haul no more nighttime thought shit so it is nice and early it is about 11 o'clock 10 54 to be exact now the one thing i do not like about living on my own is having to take out my own trash i don't have to do much all i have to do is put it in the little trash room but still i'm not used to doing this because my dad will always do it but yeah your girl ordered some dominoes yesterday and these motherfuckers had the audacity to leave my garlic sauce when I ordered it. I ordered two and I paid for it and they left it. So I made them deliver it. I made them deliver my sauces because I was really looking forward to the garlic sauce and I felt like I couldn't eat my pizza and really enjoy my pizza. And I was like, hi. So I'm just like, can you please deliver it again? They were talking about, oh, give me a discount. And I was like, no, I just want my sauce. Ah. Now, before I show you guys my pizza, I want you to leave a comment down below on what pizza, what type of pizza you think I'm eating. What are my toppings, okay? And I also want you to comment what your favorite toppings are because I want to see if I f*** with you or not because if you don't like what I'm about to eat, I don't know. You a little funny. Because it's like, how can you not like this? And I also want to give you guys some tea because your girl's trying to get fit because I'm going to DR next week to go get my body done. I'm just joking. I'm not really going to DR next week to get my body done. I'm going to DR next week to go on vacation. But I do want to get my ass done because, so I left my ex, I got new titties, and then I just cut this other nigga off, so I need a new ass. Every time I cut somebody off, I gotta get something new. I want zero bodies on this bitch, okay? We're starting over. Now we are about to do the pizza reveal. I got me some chicken and pineapple. Yeah, the best pizza ever, but if you do not eat pineapple pizza, then I feel like you're just not being open because like it's so good, yeah. And you guys are probably wondering about my hair. I am going to fix it at the club so I can do a little recording in the booty club. I figured out a way to record without letting it be known where I work or like showing any type of shindig. It's lit, but I do love my hair. I feel very sexy today. And this is the same hair from the photo shoot, the kinky hair. By you wigs, you already know you. So for the first time in one million years, my dance bag is in my house and not in my car. I would always leave it in my car because my mom is the type of person to go through my shit and I don't like that. 
So, <laughs> my little sneaky ass. So I have to actually repack my shit because this bag is a mess. So let me do that. What time is it? Because I need to go soon. Oh shit, it's 11.08. These are my singles from my last money count. If you guys didn't see it, you need to go check that video out right now. They don't have any lockers in that club. I'm just like, what the fuck? They're like, oh, the girls are nice, but it's like, yeah, that's cool. But I still don't trust bitches with my shit. So, you know. I've had people steal from me in the club before. My hat got stolen. Dirty ass bitches stealing my hat. Like, are you serious? I put that on my head. What if I had lice? That shit pissed me off too. And remember those hats with the little puff on it, the caps, and they were in, they were in style back then. Yeah, them hating ass bitches stole my shit. I'm bringing my curling iron and my hot comb. Oh gosh, when they see the hot comb, I wonder what they're gonna think. They always, um, the manager is always talking about my hair because I changed my wig three times. And you know, I'm the only, I'm the only black person in this club. I'm not even saying wrong with you. I'm the only black person, so. I guess they're not used to a lot of the shit that I be doing, but they love it. Shit, he does love my hair. He always talks about how he loves it. He told me that my last wig was his favorite. There was one time, I'm not even gonna lie, where somebody came up to me and they were like, oh my God, finally a black girl. Certain clubs, like they do need to work on their diversity. It's Friday, Friday, gotta shake ass on Friday. And you know the ball is a tip into the weekend, weekend. Friday, Friday, gonna shake ass on Friday. And it, and it, and it, and it, ah! <laughs> Who remembers that song, Friday? I think it was, it was like some Nickelodeon shit, corny shit. It is booty club time, 12 o'clock on the dot. I'm in my drop top, cruising the streets. I'm about to, okay, I can turn that off. I'm not driving. What am I doing? I probably was just screaming like a motherfucker in this video. Okay, I'm going to turn my car off. Because my car just pisses me off all the time. Y'all, let me tell you something. I'm getting a new car. Who I'm going to say right now, I am getting a new car. First of all, this car just giving me issues. My head hurts and I just can't solve them right now. I would just prefer for them to just solve themselves by me getting rid of it. I just don't feel like fixing the problem. I'd rather just get a new car. I had this car for some time and it did great, but now I gotta move on to something new because I can't take this anymore. Uh, I don't know what car I want. I actually do want that Audi truck. I'm not even saying I'll hold you. I do want my A7, yes, but like the A7 I want, that shit's hella bread and I wouldn't do that to myself. Like right now in this very moment, I would not buy the A7, f no. I would rather have a more expensive home than to have a more expensive car. Like I would get like a Mercedes, like an E-Class, Coupe, one seater. <laughs> It. So yeah, I'm going to go shake my ass in the club so I can buy a new car. <sighs> the last time when I walked in at 12.30, he was like, oh, you're late. I'm just like, oh my gosh, I really have to be here at 12 on the dot. He was like, it's cool because it was my first day or whatever. But I'm really like, for the goddamn, I don't want to be up in the club at no 12 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to take my sweet ass time getting ready. Now that's the key to killing time in the strip club. I gotta do my hair, and that's exactly why I didn't do my hair at home because I was like, fuck you. So I totally forgot that we were supposed to wear red today because of the Halloween theme. So I have to go out to my car to get the red outfit that I do have. The manager also said that he has a customer coming for me today, which is really awesome. I also noticed that he favors me a lot and, you know, he treats me very nicely. And I'm not even going to lie. Oh, I'm out of breath. I'm sorry because I'm like rushing. But I'm not even going to lie. I'm one of those dancers I do get favored a lot. And it's not because of my looks. Well, 
you know, partially, but my energy shines through my actual physical beauty. Managers, they always know that I won't disappoint. I'm not gonna be nasty and rude to customers. I'm not pushy. They always know that people have a great time with me. So that's why I do get favored a lot. And so far, since I've been working here, I've been doing a lot of lap dance rooms and you know, I've been building up a little bit of a clientele and people do love me, which is great. So I'm about to go run out to my car and get the only red outfit that I have and just make something out of it. Y'all, I'm gonna need you to go follow my Pull and Shut Down Fan Candy and bring you some lessons with Miss Ma'am because Tiffany B just did a little, oh, I'm shaking, bitch, yo, oh, I'm tired. I just did a whole performance on the pole, like, bitch, I was like, I have to do this, and I make it look cute, or I'm gonna make flood myself, so I was holding myself up on that thing. Luckily, I have pretty good upper arm strength, but damn, I was very nervous, but at this club, it's like the girls dance like Sims, no offense. And I was sick of doing that. Like, I thought that's how they wanted us to dance. But then I seen some other girl, still like a few other girls come in and they weren't dancing like that. So I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna just do what, do what I do, you know? So I'm like, let me go on stage because I think ass shaking would be a little bit too much for them. So I was like, let me go on stage and do a little bit of pole and catch these motherfuckers' attention. I climbed up the pole and then I dropped down into a split. And then I was rocking myself back and forth, like I had my legs wrapped on the pole. I actually bought a shipper pole for my pole instructor, so once I get that posted up, I'm gonna be doing more pole videos. And I just wanna honestly do it for fun, but I can't believe this. Let me show you the money that I made. So this is the money I made on this stage set. I got a little 20 in here somewhere, and this is not anything crazy, but this is the most I've made on stage all day because it's pretty slow for right now, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna pick up later because it is Friday. So I changed into my second outfit now. I seen some girl wearing black, so I'm just like, I don't give a fuck anymore about this red thing. And I'm already like, I'm almost halfway into my shift, so it's about to be three o'clock. I get off at seven. My last set is at 6.20 because I go on every 20, so I go on at 1.20, 2, 20, 3, 20, 6.20, <laughs> those are my stage sets. I like the fact that they're actually timed because when I would work in clubs in New York, they would never keep track of the time or they would just call us up randomly. They never gave us like a set time and sometimes the DJs would forget to call the girls on stage or they'd leave certain girls on there for longer or certain girls on there for a short amount of time. So it wasn't really fair. So I do like the fact that the clubs out here actually give you a set time. There's some clubs in New York that do that, but I noticed that every club I've worked at in New Jersey has gave us a set time and that's how things need to be ran point blank period because if you've ever worked in a strip club in new york then you know damn well them djs be tripping like that shit gets me tight because just like yo i could be making money or you have me on stage for 20 minutes it's hot as fuck and i need to go and do other things like it makes no sense but i'm ready for the shift to be over i'm glad that the day is going by pretty fast I'm actually talking to people today. There was this one guy who was pissing me off. He tried to touch my face. I'm just like, please don't do that. I don't know what bacteria you have on your hands or where your hands been or who it's been in or blah. F no, don't touch my face. Hey guys, so I am in Stop and Shop, shopping for snacks because I'm hungry. I need something to munch on tonight. Something salty, I'm craving something salty. I have cookies at home, but I don't need that. Hey girl, hey, so I just got in and I'm honestly exhausted. So I think I'm gonna do the money count. In the morning time when I have more energy, so you guys get a little taste of Miss B. But it most definitely was a good day. It was Friday, by the way, so I'm excited. Friday shifts are pretty great. I was sitting with a customer and he was just paying me to stay, so that's pretty much what I did. But that happened towards the end of my shift. My wig wasn't even on the whole entire time, only the front. It's just like, you know, they ain't gonna know. But I did stop and shop. And I grabbed some snackies because I need some snackies to snack on in the house. My makeup set looks great. That's that Fenty primer. You don't see any shine. Yo, that's that Fenty primer. Hey, go ahead. Hey, go ahead. Welcome to the money count. Finally, we can get up to this party. Y'all have some tea. Like, I don't know. I'm very excited to share this story with you guys because it's like OMG. Now, my little pile in the back over here, so may not look so big. But let me tell you something, there's a lot of valuable shit in there. You wanna know why? Because 
I found me a little trick. What? Okay, this club is Sugar Daddy Central. So basically, I want to give you guys a story about all of these 20s you see right here because I basically made somebody's son empty out their pockets. <sighs> now, for this club, I haven't been getting a lot of singles. I have noticed that. I make most of my money actually having conversation with people. Which is totally fine because I love to sit around and do nothing. I have some of the money in front of me. I'm just going to start putting it together. But I just want to give you guys a story about this guy that I met. It was Friday, day shift. You guys know I do the day shift. And it was raining. So it was pretty slow. No, it wasn't horrible. Like, there was people in and out all day. But I wasn't really making much money. I honestly feel like I have a hard time kind of just naturally connecting with a lot of the people at this club. I feel like I really do put up a facade when I'm working here. Even the style of dancing that the girls do at this club, I'm not even used to that type of dancing. But this guy in particular, I'm not saying that I connected with him because I most definitely didn't. I was in it for the money and he was most definitely okay with that because he kept saying, what do you want? And I'm just like, money. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> period. So basically, this motherfucker, he actually came for the bartender. I did see him like showering her with money all night. And you know, he was being a very good tipper. But you know, that was her customer. I didn't want to go over and be rude. You know, that was none of my business. But then at this club, they make you walk around, walk around the bar and dance in front of the customers and shit. And then they give you money. And I hate doing that because I don't like making it seem like I'm begging because I feel like I shouldn't have to do all of that. Like, no offense, but I shouldn't have to do all of that to make money off of you for someone to tip me. Just throw the fucking money and keep it pushing. But not everyone's like that, and they really make you do it. Like, I remember I tried to walk around the bar, and the manager was like, no, go back and make some money. I'm just like, okay, I guess you're right. Let me just put my pride aside and go make some fucking money. But I don't like doing it. I don't like feeling like I'm begging for money. I don't like, you know, with me, I don't like feeling like I'm begging for shit. It's not just money. I don't like the feeling of... Oh, I'm depending on you for something. Period. Because you guys already know. Miss I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T. Do you know what that means? I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T. Do you know what that means? She got her own house. She got her own car. And I can say that now because I got me a little condo. So then I went over to him. And then, like, you know, he was very intrigued by me. And mind you, your wife was on the freaking pole. I'm just like, never was I on the pole. Like, I was dancing on the pole. And he liked it. And then, you know, I fell into a split, and they loved that, too. He was like, oh, if you're free, then come around the bar and have a drink. And I'm just like, great, because he has champagne. He bought a bottle, and he was saying that he doesn't drink champagne, but he bought the bottle because the girl was getting commission off of it. And that's his friend at the end of the day, so he's going to, you know, make sure she gets P-A-I-D, period. And that's how it should be, okay? Shit, I need, I need friends like that, you know? Bye -bye, you know what I'm saying? So whatever, I go over to him. We have a drink. Mind you, this man has been drinking all day, okay? So he was a little bit tipsy. And it was totally fine. That's what people do. It's Friday. Come and relax. Great. I get my drink. Don't really drink it because I'm not really a drinker. And I kept saying that, but he kept saying, just get a drink, get a drink. I remember somebody telling me, oh, it's rude to turn down a drink. So I'm just like, whatever, I'm going to get the drink, but I'm not going to drink it. So go ahead and waste your money. I don't care. He gave me a few singles when I came up to him, when I was around the bar. But then when I came back around, he was just talking to me and he didn't give me money at first, but I knew that he was going to give me money. Like I just got the vibe that he was going to give me money because I seen how he was tipping the bartender. Sometimes it's not that a guy doesn't have money, it's just that they don't want to spend their money on you. They'll spend their money on the next bitch, trust and believe if she works him correctly. And this is what he was saying to me. And if you're a dancer, this is something that you need to take note of. And it's called having manners and not being so pushy about money and desperate. So I've been so f***ing desperate. So he was basically saying how the girls would come over, say hi, and then two seconds later they'd be like, do you want to go for a dance? Because the dance rooms, you know, they charge, um, they charge like $75 for it and then we get $50 out of it. He was telling me that he feels like when girls do that, that they're trying to act like he's stupid, you know, they're trying to trick him or like seduce him into getting 
a room and spending money on them when the feeling's not really genuine and once the dance is over the girl's just gonna get up and leave and go to the next customer and that's true but see look look and this is why sometimes it's just important to stay with one person and work that person all night you can literally suck someone dry of their money and this is exactly what i did he emptied out his pockets for me he said take everything i have in my pocket and he gave it to me should have gave me the motherfucking credit card too he asked me, would you like a shower? What he meant by that was, would you like a money shower? Or he said something like, I know you want a shower. And I'm just like, yeah, I do. And he said, would you prefer a silent shower or a loud shower? And I said a silent shower because I don't need nobody throwing no singles on the stage. I don't need nobody seeing what I got in my pocket. And at the end of the day, I would honestly prefer you to hand me money. You know, when money gets thrown, some money gets lost. So I'm not going to make as much money. The manager came over and was like, hey, I need your house fee. You're the last girl I need to get the house fee from. So I gave him the house fee, and this happened in front of the customer. So then when the manager left, he handed me back my house fee. And I was like, oh, thank you. How nice. So I went on stage. I did my thing. And then I went back over to him. And then this is when he started getting, like, really desperate. He was just like, because this is getting towards the end of the shift. My shift technically ended at 7, but I was like, I could leave after my last stage set. And he was like, no, please don't leave me. Can you stay? He whipped out money. And then he was like, can you stay five Jeffersons longer? And I'm like, yeah, I can. So he bought himself an extra 15 minutes for Miss B. So I was like, I'm going to leave at 7.15. You know, he's begging me to stay. And then he pulls out his money. And he's like, you want to know what? Here, just just take my whole entire pocket. Just take everything in my pocket. Here you go, have it. I, and he was like, I just bought myself an hour. Mind you, he didn't buy himself no hour. He didn't buy himself an hour. We stayed maybe for an extra fi uh, 15, 20 minutes, not even 30 minutes. This is the money that the guy gave me when he emptied his pockets. So he gave me an extra five Jeffersons in addition to this. So whatever this is, plus another hundred. So I have one, two, three, four, five. So that's another hundred. So I got 200 counted right now over there. Time to count these Jeffersons, man. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Jeffersons, 20 times 18, what is that? 380, no. No, 360. That's actually pretty good because the VIP rooms are 350, but we get 175 out of that. So technically, I made more money from not by just sitting at the bar with him. So that's freaking awesome. And see, that's why it's important to not be desperate for these damn dances and shit. Because you never know what somebody... Somebody may not want the VIP, but they may want to tip you even more at the freaking bar, bitch. Don't do it. Um... What else? Money! Yeah, 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 yeah.